All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises and honor and glory that's due to you. How about Shimi Yahu Shai, about Shimi Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, tell me his truth and double side taste, tell you, Akim, you men that are prophesied and named throughout the four winds of this earth, pushing this truth with God, righteousness and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. All right, and to the few and the aqua, the few sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. All right, coming back, keep you with another lesson through the spirit and power. Y'all bless y'all shy. I'm going to find the faith and answer. Y'all bless y'all shy. I was trying to do this the first time, and someone was wrong with the headphones. So, you know, I got that problem fixed. So now I can continue on. So, all right, so let's continue. <clears throat> all right, coming back, get you with another quick lesson through the spirit and power. Y'all bless y'all shy. I'm going to edify the faith and answer. Y'all bless y'all shy. Go willing. All right, and I'm going to be, and this going to be a quick lesson, man. All right. And this is from usatoday.com. And it says, Mexico City Metro overpass collapsed, killing at least 23 and injuring 70. Authority says rescue efforts are ongoing. Okay, so hey, you live some nice, man. All right, judgment is going for. All right, so let's see if you can video play. All right, you're going to let this video play. So I can... Hold on a minute, let me back it up. Try to back it up. Hold on a minute. There we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> Smoky. Uh. There we go. Uh, Smoky. As you see, man, you saw that, man, that, that accident, all right? You saw what happened, okay? So let's read a little bit of this article, man. Then I'm going to pull out some presets and go when this ed lesson be edifying, all right? Because, hey, judgment is going forth, man, on you Israelites, man, okay? And you so-called Mexicans, which are not really Mexicans. You're actually Issachar, all right, from the tribe of Issachar. You Issacharites, all right? The Lord, hey, you how about seeing your side paying a visit to you Israelites, man? Okay, so hey, it's time for you Israelites down there to wake up. All right, you know you got prophets down there that's teaching the truth down there. Okay, but hey, <laughs> you Israelites need to wake up, man. All right, especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, so let's read a little bit of this article and then we'll put out some precepts and go when it's going to be edifying. At least 23 people were killed and about 70 more injured were injured when a metro overpass in... Mexico City collapsed onto a road, sending a subway car plunging toward a busy street Monday night, authorities said. The accident, which was no accident, which happened near 10.30 p.m. local time, trapped cars under rubble and passengers in train cars hanging mid-air. Video on social media and Mexico TV showed. Emergency crews work to recover those passengers. So, hey, man, hey, the Lord Yahabashi Yahusha, he's jacking y'all up down there, all right? You escarized down there up, okay? So, hey, judgment is going forth, okay? Let's get a scripture, all right? This is Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord Yahabashi Yahusha have not done it? And then says, yes, the Lord did this, man. Lord ordained that to happen, all right? Judgment, okay? So let's see a little bit more of this article. Let's see. Um, a crane, yeah, I think that's what I left out. A crane was working to hold up one subway car left dangling on the collapsed sex section so that emergency workers could enter to check the car 
to see if anyone was still trapped. All right. Mayor Claudia Sheenbaum said 49 of the injured were hospitalized and that seven were in serious condition and undergoing surgery. So, hey, look, Lori, how about she outside? He's paying a visit to you Israelites down there, man. You Issacharites, okay? And you know you're Israelites down there. I'm quite sure you got, I know you, I already know, you do got brothers down there teaching the truth, okay? You got brothers down there that's teaching the truth, man, all right? And so, hey, no excuse, all right? Judgment is going forward. So it's time for you Israelites, especially you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans to wake the hell up, man. Because, hey, judgment is starting at you Israelites, man. Okay, and let's get that. Let's go to the description. And I'll put the article in the description box. All right, so you can go read it. Let's go First Peter chapter 4 and verse 17. Okay. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us... Well, shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel? What's the end going to be of you that you don't obey the gospel? All right. Hey, the Lord, how about she all shy? Hey, he's going to send a horrible judgment your way. Okay. And that's what the Lord, how about she all shy is doing. Okay. So it's time for you Israelites to get right, man. And like I say, man, the Lord, how about she all shy? He ordained that. Uh, let's see. I've already read that. It's lucky. Let me clear that. Okay. All right. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I womb and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. All right. So it's, hey, if it's ordained for you to get judged, hey, the Lord, how about she outside did it, man. Okay. So there's no excuse. All right, it's time for you Israelites to wake up, man. Okay, let's get this. This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 5. The just Lord Yahweh Shai is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. You see? All right, he faileth not, but the unjust knoweth no shame. All right, that's two thirds of you Israelites, man. Two thirds of you Israelites, you don't know no shame, man. So that's why judgment has got to start with you. And all right. Let's see. Mm, let's see. What I want to go to next. Let's see. Well, I want to check this uh, precept out. Amos. Excuse me. Um, let's see. Mm, I'll start. I'm gonna, Amos chapter 9 verse 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord Yahweh Shah are upon the sinful kingdom. This go twofold, all right. This talk, you can compare this to Israel, all right. You Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but you can. This is also be compared to America, Babylon the Great. But hey, today this is talking about you Israelites, man, all right? Because hey, Israel is a sinful kingdom, all right? You Israelites, you two, basically you two thirds, man. Y'all wicked as hell, all right. And it's time for you to come out of that wickedness and come back to your heritage, which you are true, your true heritage, your true nationality. You're not so-called Mexicans down there, all right? Y'all Issacharites, all right, from the tribe of Issachar. You're Israelites, okay? This is Amos 9 and 8 again. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahweh, have power upon the sinful kingdom, and I will destroy it from off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahweh, and for lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel from among among all nations, like as corn is sifted in a sheet in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon it. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. So like I said, and we just got through reading, judgment is going to begin at you Israelites, man. All right. Let's go continue on. This is uh, Psalms chapter 9 and verse 16. The Lord Yahweh Shiyosha is known by the judgment which he executed. That's right. All right. The Lord Yahweh Shiyosha is known by the, by the judgment which he executed, man. All right. And we just got through reading in Zephaniah 3 and 5. Hey, he brings judgment every morning. Okay. All right. But hey, a lot of our people, they don't understand judgment. 
think, think the Lord is all love. He's all this. He's all compassion. All right? He's all love. He's, you know, <laughs> no, man. That's not what the Bible teaches, okay? And the Lord can do nothing like that. And we're going to prove that further. Let's read this. Am not Amos. Sloppy. Psalms chapter 9, verse 16. The Lord Yahweh is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hand. Okay? There you go. So the Lord, like I said, the Lord Yahweh Shai allowed that to happen. This is Isaiah chapter 45, verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, do all these things. So the Lord, Yahweh Shai, do these things, man. All right? But a lot about people, they don't believe that. They believe that God is all love. He loves everybody. And he, he's all good. You know, that's the saying the Christian church see. God is good all the time. All the time, God's good. No, man. Let's, this scripture, that kills that, man. Okay? And there's many more scriptures that kills that. Okay? All right? This is Isaiah 45 and 7 again. Let's read it again. All right? Isaiah 45 and 7 again. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, Yahweh, see how I do all these things. All right? The Lord, Yahweh, see how I is not good all the time. No, he's not. And that's what the Christian church teaches. And hey, in these last days, during Jacob's trouble, you Israelites, Y'all going to find out, man. Okay? Uh, let's see. Let's go to Job 4 and 7. Let's get that. Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where was the righteous cut off? In the article, it said that. That was an accident. That was no accident, man. No, that was not an accident, man. Okay? The Lord, how about she, how shy, son, his angels to do his bidding, man. Like it says, there's spirits that be created for vengeance. Okay? All right? Let's see. Yeah. Verse 8. Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Okay? And those Israelites down there, all right, those Israelites, they're all damn to Catholicism and all kinds of um, false gods and Christianity and all that shit, man. What's that? Uh, the the virgin. I think that's the Virgin Mary they worship. The little statue of the Virgin Mary. I think that's what they into. No, man. That's a false god, man. Okay? The true names of the Lord is Yahweh, which is the name of the Father, and the name of the Son are Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? And basically, that's um, that that Mary statue, that's uh, woman worship. Be honest with you. That's woman worship, man. Okay? And hey... The Lord he how about seeing y'all shot is not happy about that, man. Okay? So hey, you you the guys can continue to uh <laughs> provoke the Lord how about seeing y'all shot, man. He's gonna continue to jack your ass up, period point blank, period. Okay? So hey, let's read this again. Job 4 and 7 again. Remember I pray thee, whoever perish being innocent, or where will the righteous cut off? Even as I seen, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness. Reap the same. You reap what you sow, man. All right. Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Verse 9. <clears throat> by the breath, sorry, by the blast of Yahweh they perish, and by the breath of his nostrils are they consumed. So, hey, no one gets away. Okay? No one gets away scot free. All right? Hey, you Israelites down there, you you Issacars, you Issacarites, you so-called Mexicans, man. Y'all better get right, man. All right? That's not what I want. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Mm, I want to start at Ezekiel chapter 18 and verse... Mm, I'll start at verse 30, man. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. You see, the Lord is judging you. And you know what? It gets perfect scripture to go along with that too, man. You know what I'm saying? Amos 2. Amos 3 and 1. All right? Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that the Lord Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. 
The Lord is only dealing with the Israelites, man, against the whole family, which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. The Lord is punishing us. The Lord is jacking us up. Why? Because we went off as a nation. We start worshiping false gods and worshiping and not worshiping the true power. You have about seeing outside. That's why you Israelites getting jacked up, man. Okay? Let's read on. All right? Look at that. Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 30 again. Therefore, I will judge you. O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways, said the Lord Yahweh of the power. Watch this. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so you so iniquity shall not be your ruin. Alright, says something similar to that. Aim not Amos. Uh says something similar to that. Let's go to Acts chapter three and nineteen, I believe. Acts three and nineteen. Let's see. Yeah. Right, right here. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the time of ref when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord Yahweh Shai, man. Okay. Repent. It's time for you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to repent, man. All right, let's read this again. You got to continue to read these things to Jake because Jake is hard-headed, man. Hard-headed and stiff-necked. So you got to read these scriptures over and over again until it's ingrained into their brain. Ezekiel 18, 30 again. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone, everyone according to his ways, said the Lord, Yahweh Shem, I'll the power. Repent and turn yourselves from all your iniquities so you'll... So iniquity shall not be your ruin. It's time for you Israelites to repent. Especially you Israelites down there. All right, you so-called Mexican. You're not Mexican. Okay, you're not Mexicans. Especially you so-called Mexicans here in America, man. Okay, you're not Mexican. You're Israelites from the northern tribe. Issacharite from the tribe of Issachar. Okay, verse 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed. And make you a new heart, which means mine. Okay, if you put that Hebrew word, you know what? Let's just look it up. Uh, let's see. Let's go to it. I don't want to, you know, say it and I don't think that's what it means. Let's just make sure it's what it says what it means. All right, Ezekiel 18. All right. Heart, all right. Strong's H thirty eight twenty. Lay, lay. Actually, it's love. All right, the Hebrew word is love. Inner man, see, inner man, my will. All right, my knowledge, thinking, reflection, memory. See, all right, put on a new mind. All right, change your ways. Okay. I'm going to read it from here. All right. Ezekiel 18, 31. Cast away from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart, which means mine, and a new spirit. All right. There's something similar there, too. Uh, what's that? Put on a new man. Something similar there. I'm going to look it up. For why, ye, for why will ye die, O house of Israel? Why should you die, man? The Lord, y'all about seeing y'all shine. Look. He said, you know what? There's a scripture on there too, man. Uh, get it. I'm going to get it from here. Okay. I'm going to get it from, um, uh, for, I think it's 2 Peter 3 and 9, I believe. Yeah. Put that there. All right, 2 Peter 3 and 9 says, The glory of Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us were not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. See, so there you go. So the Lord, like you say, the Lord don't want none of his people to die. But hey, we understand that two thirds got to be put to death on this side, man. All right, you got to understand that. But hey, 
if it was if it was left up to the Lord, hey, hey all you Israelites could repent, man. But we all know two thirds of you Israelites are not going to repent, man. Okay? Two thirds of you are not going to repent. You're not going to turn back to you. How about Shinyal Shah? You're going to continue to do wickedness. And that's why the Lord is jacking you Israelites up, man. Okay? Just look, you saw what he did to those Issacharites down there in, in Mexico. Hey, more judgment is about to go forth. Okay? Verse 32. For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth, said the Lord Yahweh the power. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live ye. That's right, man. Okay? Um, scripture on that, too. Coming up with these scriptures, I ain't. I was not intending to make this long, but let's see. Um. Wow. Um. Hold on. Mm. Where is that? Yeah, here it is. I'm just being in my big face. I got to put all these scriptures. I got to look on my phone and get these scriptures off, man. This is Amos 5 and verse. I'm going to start it. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just I'm gonna just read verse 14, man. See good and not evil that ye may live. And so the Lord Yahweh Shai, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoke. And that's right, man. So, hey. See good and not evil, man. All right? Change your ways. Put away these false gods, man. And that's what the Israelites telling you, man. To put away these false gods, man. Stop worshiping, you know, these these wicked-ass holidays. Stop worshiping the false white man, Jesus Christ. That idol, that Mary. The, like, those, those Issacharites you so-called Mexicans are into. That Mary thing. All right? Look. Y'all need to put that shit away, man. Put those false idols behind you and start calling on the true names of Yahweh, which is the name of the Father and the name of the Son. I'm going to say Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? So, hey, it's time to change. All right? Let's get this. I was intending to get this. Uh, I'm just going to read it, man. This is Psalm 68 and verse 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation, and unto Yahweh. The Lord Yahweh Shinyal Shai belong the issues of from death. So death belongs to Yahweh Shinyal Shai, man. Okay? Period point blank. Okay? So it's time for you Issacharites down there, you so called Mexicans, to repent. Cause you got brothers down there teaching, man. Alright? No excuse. Alright? Just like you got Issacharites and so Northern Kingdom teaching on here. Although you got some Northern Kingdom, you know that's teaching that this that don't acknowledge the uh, southern kingdom. And then you got the southern kingdom that don't acknowledge the northern kingdom. You ain't worried about them because, hey, their ass is going to get judged anyway. But, hey, until the ones that are doing, you know, the brothers, sincere brothers, you know, our northern kingdom brothers that, you know, preaching this gospel with truth, all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Hey, brock they, brock a thumb to you, okay? All right? Because, hey, look, <laughs> it's time for you Israelites to get right, man. Okay, because the Lord Yahweh Shinyal Shah is not playing anymore. He's not playing. He is serious. Okay, so hey, it's time for you Israelites to get right. Okay, so let's see. Anything else I had? Um, no, that's pretty much it. That's all I had, man. I was not intending to make it long, but hey, that's the spirit of the Lord Yahweh Shinyal Shah. So hey, I'm, you know, operating by the spirit. So with that. Well, when I pray, it's a little quick lesson was edifying. Call him all you know. You have us in your shy about your Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great minstone rule well. And as always, we give peace, blessings, and citations to the elect that's scattered abroad. To the next time, I say Sean Wong, Barack Adun to the elect. Wild Baba Ball and Abad Adam Wong. Sean Wong.